Hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the world. Today I have a cute little thank you card to share with you. It features the Hydrangea Hill Designer Series paper and as you can see there's lots of lovely um, blues and purples and a little bit of pink and this is the card that we're going to make and it's got this little pop out here so that the butterfly can be seen inside as well as outside. So I decided I would use this um, sheet. Um, this is sort of cut in half, but it's basically got two strips of hydrangeas and then this piece in between. So it made perfect sense when I cut it to um, cut a piece sort of like this. And then I had a strip left over here, which is what I used to uh, stamp and punch my little butterfly. So I was able to make maximum use of my paper. So <clears throat> um, I'm just going to start with my card base. This is uh, 11 by four and a quarter and it's the, it's the thick um, whisper white, sorry, basic white cardstock and then my piece of hydrangea hill paper is four by five and a quarter so i'm going to start by stamping my greeting first and my stamp set is butterfly gala so it's got lots of lovely um, butterflies in it and then the thank you so very much and it coordinates with the a butterfly duo punch and for this I'm going to use my Stamparatus uh, because I want to make sure that I get my um, greeting uh, level so um, when I set mine up I, I don't pop my paper in the corner I, I prefer to sort of work in the center of my stamparatus but everybody's slightly different so I made my little marks where the top corners of my paper need to go and then a piece of my my magnet and I have my I'm using um, the gorgeous grape ink and I have my stamp ready to go and then I'm just going to I'm just press firmly where I have my stamp and that's it I'm just going to pop that piece of paper back there so it doesn't get my under piece messy all right so there we have our greeting and I'm going to attach it um, to my card and unusually for me I'm going to be using a tape runner and, I, and I'll explain in a minute why that is but because I'm going to be punching my hole here I'm only going to be putting a tiny little bit of adhesive at the top here um, in the top corner just to hold it down and then I'm going to use tape runner for the rest of it and I'm going to be very oh it's not working for me properly and be very very cautious here making sure I don't get it too far and it'll it'll come clear in a moment why that is so the reason I'm not going to be I'm not using uh, liquid adhesive is that I am now going to run this through the big shot and when I did it the first time <laughs> the uh, adhesive all splodged out squeezed out from the bottom here and made a bit of a sticky mess so I decided we're going to go um, with uh, a dry adhesive this time. So I'm going to be cutting my hole using one of the scallop circles. And this is from the layering circles die set. Um, and it's, I don't know, it's probably about, let me just use this to measure. This one is probably, it's about two inches, uh, two inches round. So I'm going to place it on the corner up here just so that it's going to be within on this on the designer series paper 
and I'm using a tiny bit of washi tape to hold it in place because I do not want this to move. So now I'm going to bring in my cut and emboss machine and for this I'm going to be using the base plate, the thick base plate, the thin, the thinner plate and then one of my cutting uh, plates and I'm going to lay my card like this and I've got a piece of a plate I had I, I had my husband break this in half for me um, <clears throat> deliberately uh, because um, it I find it I personally find it better to use smaller pieces for the top when I'm using smaller dies and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this so that it starts it's just where the die starts and then just pop that push that in and then I'm going to crank it through now the reason I'm doing it this way is that I don't want to have the entire card go through with the plate in case it it um, smudges my or kind of marks my card because I might get a little um, piece so I'm just crank that through and there we it cut like that so let's lose the machine and I'm just going to punch that out now the reason I didn't want to have these two pieces stuck together is I didn't want to have the piece of card I just want the piece of designer series paper to attach to the inside I'm just going to put another make sure I put a crease and now I am going to use my favorite liquid adhesive and I'm going to just be uh, lining up the little scalloped edges here and fitting it in pressing it firmly and then just gently lifting it up and that gives me my pretty piece in there and this piece I'm going to set aside and use it for something else and then my butterfly well as I said I stamped my butterfly on the piece that was in the middle um, from the piece of designer series paper and I stamped my my butterfly and as you can see I did several of these and I just sort of did them in alternate di directions and I could get quite a few butterflies out of the uh, of that strip and then I'm just going to go in with my uh, butterfly punch and just line it up like that and I think I've got the maximum out of that piece of paper there's I don't think I could have got a single thing more out of it and I'm just going to take a tiny little piece of dimensional just to stick it onto my card Um, I'm just going to place it on the body part of my butterfly and I'm just going to line it up so the bottom wings are kind of within the hole but the top wings are just outside of the hole and then I've got my lovely silver metallic pearls I'm going to pop one in the middle there and then as my final flourish I like to decorate the inside of my cards. Now, these um, stamp set stamps come with the big and the small butterfly attached together, and it fits perfectly in the actual punch. But I just want on this one, I just want the little uh, butterfly. So I'm just going to make sure that I just tap him in just that bit in the ink. And then I'm just going to line up and just make sure that he just goes in that corner like that. And to do the same with my envelope. So I'll pop that there. And re-ink. And then put my little butterfly. Cute. So there you have a really pretty little card with just an unusual feature so just to pop those back in it's gonna 
just gently tweak his little wings out. A lovely card for somebody to receive. I do hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. I thank you for taking time to join me today and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.